Hey guys, so today I have my empties for December. So these are products that I've used up and I basically just tell you if I would repurchase them or not and give you little mini reviews on them. So I have a big bag full of stuff that I've used up so far. First I have a candle. This is the Cranberry Woods White Barn. I love this candle. It's really fresh and crisp and it's not overwhelming. It was just really good. So I would for sure buy that again. Next I have the Cebu Beauty Sea Buckthorn Balancing Facial Cleanser. This is an all natural cleanser. It's really good for my skin. It just keeps it nice and clear. It's really gentle. It has really pure ingredients and I love it. This was in my favorites for 2013 for skincare. I have the Joyco K-Pack Color Therapy Conditioner. I've had this for two years. I have been so over this conditioner for a long time. There's still like this much left, but I can't even use it anymore. I'm over the scent. The scent just gets to me. And I don't know if you, I really liked it at first, but after a while, I think my hair just got used to it and it wasn't as special anymore. And it's definitely not a natural conditioner. I got this before I switched a lot of my products over, so I wouldn't be repurchasing this. It worked good at first, but no, I wouldn't buy this again. Next I have the Paula's Choice Skin Balance Skin Perfecting 2% BHA Liquid. This again was in my skincare favorites for the year. It's really good at keeping your skin clear. It helps improve the tone and texture of your skin, gets rid of redness, shrinks your pores, a lot of good things. Next I have this shower gel. This is the Andalou Naturals Mandarin Vanilla Shower Gel. And I know a lot of people really love this product, but I couldn't stand it. Me and Andrew both, it was just so sickening sweet. It's a 50-50 kind of scent, but way too sweet for me. I just didn't, not a fan. So that's going bye bye and not going to be buying that again. I went through the Urban, Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, the little trial size one. This went by really fast. I think I would just from here on out buy the full size. I actually got the Chill Makeup Setting Spray, the big one, for Christmas. So let me know if you want to see a Christmas sort of haul because I got some new makeup products. But I also have some gift cards so I wanted to get some new things before I show you, you know, everything. So let me know if you want to see a haul on that sort of thing. I have a lot of mascaras that I went through. I need to get a new mascara ASAP. So I have the L'Oreal Voluminous Carbon Black and the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition. I actually prefer the Full Definition now after going back and forth between these two. So. I would go with the, the all gold tube if you are kind of debating. I also went through the Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl, which I used to like, but I don't like it anymore because I don't like how thick it is. It makes it a little hard, and I don't like this part. I know it's kind of strange, but for some reason it's hard to grip when you're applying your mascara. I also went through another Revlon Grow Luscious, and... I liked all of these mascaras at one time, but right now I love the combo I'm using. I'm using the Corez, the Corez Volcanic Volume Mascara and the Mary Kay Lash Love. Those two together make my lashes just so thick and long. So those are kind of my go-tos right now. So these I will take a break from for a little bit. I went through this Giovanni. It is the, I can't really read it, Detox System Purifying Exfoliant Body Scrub with charcoal, volcanic ash, and antioxidants. So this I used in the shower as a scrub, and I, eh, it's nothing that I would buy again. I didn't like the scent. It's a, like a acai berry kind of scent, very sweet and berry smelling. I just wasn't a fan, and I ended up using this super duper fast. So if you have a really good body scrub that you use, let me know in the comments, because I'm always looking for a new one and I don't have one right now. So I went to buy this again. It worked fine. It felt nice on the skin, but it just, you know, went too fast. I went through one of these Honey Bee Gardens nail polish removers. These are acetone free and color free. I liked this. It feels like an oil on your nails. It does take a little bit longer than regular nail polish removers. This is definitely better than acetone though. I just got one of just the classic nail polish removers at Target the other day because I ran out of this and I ordered these online from Vitacost. And they're just easier to use, so I might just stick with those because I paint my nails a lot, so this can get, you know, kind of a pain. And plus they're really small and it's a lot cheaper to just buy the one from Target or something. So I might buy this again. It's definitely the best natural nail polish remover I've tried, but right now I'm using just a standard one. I went through my Laura Mercier Natural Beige 
Mineral Powder SPF 15. This is an amazing face powder. You can use this, there's something flying around. You can use this as a foundation, a powder foundation by itself, but I personally don't like that. I used to do that in high school, but I like to use a liquid foundation and then use this just lightly as a setting, setting powder. It looks like that. You get, you know, the little sifter. I just ordered another one of these in a shade lighter. It's, I think it's light sand because this is a little too dark for my skin. But I love this because it makes your skin look completely flawless. It covers really nicely and just gives you a perfect, it almost gives you a dewy look. It's not super shiny or anything, but just, just beautiful. So highly suggest this if you guys want a face powder. It's so good. I went, oh, this I didn't go through. I just, I have to get rid of it. It's the Sun Coat All Natural Nail Polish Remover Gel. So Basically, you're supposed to put this on your nail, on your nails, and it leave it on there, and then just wipe it off, and it's supposed to take off your nail polish. This did absolutely nothing. It was a waste of time and a waste of money, and I was just, I was sad about this. One of you guys did leave in the comments when I mentioned this in a haul, telling me how how it didn't work. So I should have listened to you, but I wanted to try it out. I didn't want to just throw it away, but definitely a letdown. Do not suggest. I do not suggest you buying this ever. So. Bummer. I went through this deodorant. It's a true natural roll-on deodorant. All natural, vegan, alcohol-free, gluten-free, aluminum-free, cruelty-free, paraben-free. So I really love this. I use this every single day for the whole month. And it was, I mean, I didn't have to use anything else. And I never noticed myself smelling or anything like that. So I would definitely buy this again and I would recommend this. I went through another candle from Bath & Body Works. This is the Winter Fig. I think this is new to their line. It's amazing. So I would 100% buy this again next year. It smells a fig, but also balsam and a little bit sweet. Just really, really nice. A kind of outdoorsy, fresh scent. Super good. Two more things. I have the Anastasia Brow Fix. I think it's called that. Look how small it is right now. It comes in a little thing like this, but I use this till I couldn't sharpen it anymore in my sharpener. I have another one of these in my purse, so I need to switch that back to my room. But this is a brow wax that you use. I like using this in the arch because my eyebrows kind of fall down right there. So it works really good to just, you know, keep your eyebrows in place all day long, and I would buy it again. I do want to try the, what is it called? Maybelline, I think, the clear brow gel. No, it's a clear mascara. So if you use that on your eyebrows, let me know because I know that's a lot cheaper, so maybe I'll do that. The last thing is the Tata Harper Rebuilding Moisturizer. This is for oily combination skin. I really enjoyed using this moisturizer. It left my skin feeling super moisturized, plump, hydrated, left me with kind of a dewy look to it. I wouldn't buy this right now because I have a lot of moisturizers that I need to use. And it's definitely more pricey, so down the road I would, just not right now. So those are all of my empties for the month. I hope you guys all enjoyed, and I will see you all soon. Bye!